seems like you guys are bracing for Riley to become the most popular Call of Duty character <laughs> of all time. Did you guys? You know I think he about? already is, to tell you the truth. I actually still have I have a picture on my phone um, from the day that that all happened because a lot of us were in here in this theater and we were watching the Microsoft event. One of the fascinating new additions to your squad is a dog. Because we had made the trailer and it was like, oh, the dog's gonna be cool. People are gonna think that's cool as a gameplay thing, you know, and like, okay. Didn't think much more about it than that. Yeah. All of a sudden the trailer plays and then just dog, 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 dog on the news for the next, I think it's still happening actually. Like I think within minutes he had his own Twitter account. Wasn't done by us. We were all stunned. Wow, that dog just blew up. Um, not literally. We had a plan for how the dog uh, would be handled within the game. I'm being very good about this, aren't I? Yeah. When all of the different comments came up, the very strong feelings about they're going to or you better not kill the dog, there was actually a sort of a movement here for a while, like, like literally like deer in headlights of, should we change the whole story to fit more dog and you know and change the way the dog's story is going to play out in this game and and there was a lot of like meetings and talking and everybody's kind of like oh should we you know this the dog it's so important now um what do we do what, you know how do we make this different and we kind of settled everybody down for a second uh this literally for like after a week or two and said look you guys have a plan it's a good plan Let's just stick with it. This is just, you know, marketing stuff. Let it let it flow over you. Stick with the game you're making. Don't worry about what you're hearing in the uh, in the uh, internet. So the scene so. where the dog slowly lowered in the lava. Well, you know, he's on. It's it's like any James Bond good any good James Bond villain is. He's going to have some way of escaping, kind of. So he'll shake the cage back and forth. Yeah. It'll rope will catch on fire. And at one point, it'll snap, and he'll go fly over here, and then he'll go rescue the damsel. And yeah, there you go. I think the funniest one is AI fish. So I want to tell that story so that people get it. I realize I have a very sarcastic sense of humor and very dry and people probably don't get it very well. So I want to make this as clear as possible. <laughs> Actually, I don't because I think it's funny. <laughs> but the whole AI fish thing came from the producer of that bit had spent the day walking around looking at everything that we were working on. And there was a guy who has happened to be working on the schools of fish. So those are basically an AI system uh, that can move through the, the the game and actually and actually what will happen is is if it comes to you so I know you were pointing trying to point at the fish every once in a while and yeah, yeah those aren't the fish that I was talking about it's the big schools and they'll they'll it's actually really interesting because they'll move and they'll actually go around you they'll split and go around you or you can go to them and they'll scatter and then they'll come back somewhere else birds do the same thing so we have AI birds as well uh, if you see a flock of birds like you know like pecking at food on the ground or something, and you run over to them, they'll scatter, and then they'll, as a group, fly and land somewhere else. Um, so that's what they saw. And so we're doing the piece, and I'm talking about some of the, the, the effects tech, and they, um, they were like, talk about the schools of fish. That was amazing. They were moving out of the way. It was so cool. And, and I was like, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> I'm like, are you sure? I was like, oh yeah, it was so cool. So I said, and if you watch the video, when you know this and you watch, go back and watch that video, you can see what's going on in my head. Because I say the things and I go, and we even have AI fish. Like I actually literally did like this kind of. We've added fluid dynamics, interactive smoke, and also added an AI system to it. So we have fish move out of the way when you get close to them. So I thought it was gonna get cut. Like I thought we would, I would look at it and be like, okay, no, that's stupid, cut that. But then I saw it and I was like, oh my God, that's so funny. You know, it's like, oh, this, this could be good. It's like, it was like an Easter egg in a way. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be funny. So we kept it. And then it became a thing. It was like almost as big as the dog at first with people talking about AI fish. And then I went and I took a picture of our mocap volume and then p pasted in a little aquarium with a fish that had the little balls all over it and posted that off to, you know, mocap some intelligent fish and people still think I'm serious. <laughs> okay, that, I thought that was funny, but some people took it serious, okay. which I always almost think is funny also. So.